Hey, thanks for stopping by. Thought I'd take a little bit of time to show you kind of what I've been using for my craft here. I'm gonna go around my little station, kind of show you what I've got going on. So down here, uh, we have our tools. This is the Games Workshop. Comes in the Age of Sigmar painting set. And the rest of this stuff came another thing I bought off of Amazon. I will provide the links down below. I like these snips um, a little bit better than these guys because as you may be able to see, they're pretty narrow. Um, let me focus there. They're pretty narrow. Whereas these guys here are pretty thick. Um, so I found that these guys are actually a lot better at getting kind of more delicate areas cut without uh, bending or breaking anything. These knives here are for trimming off the smaller pieces the snips couldn't get or for kind of cleaning up the mold lines. We have straight and bent um, tweezers here about the head the smaller uh, pieces. This is a wet palette. It's one of the few clean ones I have left. I was able to get 12 for about nine bucks off Amazon. Back here we have our Foldio portable studio. It's pretty cool. You fold it up, store it off the side. This is one of the many backdrops that come with it. Whites, greens, browns, black. Uh, it's pretty cool. You can even get other ones uh, online, like uh, more like school photo things. It's pretty neat that you just set your guy in there and get some pretty cool pictures. Here we have a storage cabinet. I uh, got it off of Amazon. As you can see, I've labeled it with the parts that I use. And there's a few pieces, a few rows here, still have nothing in there. It's really cool. I like this feature because the big ones down below are actually tall enough to have your guys stand straight up and close. So it's extra storage. Here I have the GameCraft um, mini painting station, 34 millimeter. <clears throat> and I love this thing. It comes like an MDF and it's not painted. I painted it gray. So I didn't have my black. I think I'm going to paint that later on. But I love it because it stores all my paintbrushes and all the paint that I'm working on. And these are the majority of the paints I had to use for some of these guys I made down here. This is the beginning of my Space Wolf Army. Really exciting. I got a few guys there. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's nice to be able, being able to uh, work on that thing. And then when I'm done, just pick it up and put it in storage off the side. This here is a self-healing cutting mat. It's pretty cool, I just got it. Um, I'm pretty tired of getting glue or paint or cuts and stuff on my my desk, so I got this thing, hopefully it'll help out a lot. And I used to store all my other stuff in kind of a non-easy access tackle box until I found this guy. I think I do want to get a few more of these blue dividers here, but I like I'm able to separate all these paints, stick them out so I can actually see them, and close it up. These are some nail files I got with this same kit over here, and they're pretty nice for filing off kind of pieces you're going to glue together or getting off some larger mold lines. Uh, also, I generally tend to paint things while they're still on the sprue, or make these cool little bit sprues just by gluing the pieces on. Uh, so here I can spray paint them, and I can even actually paint them while they're still on here. Um, but since there's paint on there, it's a lot harder for this to actually go onto the model once you're done. So taking those little nail files is a pretty easy way to get back on the plastic so it can stay, stay on there. The last thing I want to show you is my LED table lamp. This is 5, um, P-H-I-V-E. This is their table lamp. It clamps on the back. They have a a base you can buy if you want to make them a little more portable. It's pretty cool, just uh, touch actuated. Back there I have a weighted and magnified with two little helper hands um, support thing. It's pretty nice for when some things just don't want to stick on. Other than that, that's pretty much what I use um, to do my little craft here. I'm really excited. Space Wolves are the army that I'm going for. But I am trying out a few other things. Uh, for example, my buddy got me a box of the Sanguinary Guard. So I'll be working on those and trying my hand at some magnetization stuff, which 
I have those down here, a little baggie. And right here, the next guy on my to-do list is the um, Blood Angels Chaplain with the jump pack. I'm really excited. The tutorials look pretty sweet. So anyway, that's kind of what I'm working with. And as time goes on, I'm going to be getting bigger and getting better. And hopefully some, some things will improve as far as storage solutions or things like that. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. If you have comments or questions about anything that I have here, I will link all these items in the description below. And uh, yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Was it a phone call?